Today we're gonna cook a steak in the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're gonna use this combustion wireless thermometer with a little wireless readout screen. Pretty cool, but you don't need it. You can use your phone. We're seasoning this steak with NA11, the premium everything rub. Link in description if you wanna buy it. The fun fact, they're in Costco right now in the Washington area, Seattle area. Not sure, cool stuff. Props to them for that. I got this big old thick cut ribeye, and that's what we're gonna load that up on. Now, I don't have a grill outside, so I picked up this Ninja Foodie grill. It sears, sizzles, and air fry crisps. It does it all. Uh, this should give us a nice, crispy, grill mark kind of situation. Um, it's a little sizable, but for what it does, I'm okay with it taking up some counter space. You can see it's got buttons for grilling, temperature, if you want to dehydrate stuff in there, roast, it, it does it all. Pretty cool. Uh, you can check that out in the description too if you want to read a little more about it. I've got the grill plate in there. That's going to give us grill marks. Swirly ones, but <laughs> grill marks nonetheless. Um, it gets pretty hot, so it's air frying from the top. It's got that hot grill plate on the bottom. You can pull that out. It's got a normal air fryer basket you can pop in there. So, like it said, it does it all. Now, I saw a popular chef, uh, Kenji Lopez Alt, I think that's his name. Uh, he was using this combustion thermometer, and it's kind of cool. It's wireless, you stick it in your meat, and you can see what the temperature is while it's cooking. It charges up in this little, little charging case, pairs with that little wireless screen. Kind of cool, you can use it with your phone if you don't want to use the screen. But it's got all these probes in there, so you can see what the temperature of each one is. And it uses all of those to give you an idea of when your food's going to be done based on how it's cooking. So we're going to turn this thing on. We're going to preheat it by hitting grill. We're going to start it up. It's going to start going. And we're going to load this ribeye up with a couple things. Uh, we're going to put some grapeseed oil on there. They recommend a variety of oils to use to reduce smoke in the grill. This is one of the higher smoke point ones. So we're gonna kind of rub that on there. And then we're gonna get our NA11, the premium everything rub. It works on literally everything. They recommend you can throw it on eggs. Um, got a couple chunks of spice in there. Yeah, it's really good. It's sweet, it's savory. And once you use it on that grill, it creates a gorgeous crust on the outside. Uh, I think you're gonna like how it looks. But make sure that's nice and patted on there, and voila, beautiful. Last, we just do the same thing to the other side. Now we've gotta stick our combustion thermometer in. We're gonna jam it in there. You gotta make sure it gets up to that line, but you want as much of it in as possible. Once the grill's ready, we're gonna pop that open, nice and hot, we're gonna get our steak in there. Again, you don't want that little thermometer part to be on the grill, but it's safe in there up to 500 plus degrees or so, and off she goes. You can see while well, we're using it, the screen, the phone, they're showing us the temperature. Halfway in, gave it a turn. Sorry for the shaky camera there, but. Look at that. A little weird pattern because of the grates, but that's legit. Uh, it's looking good. A good ribeye steak deserves a good wine, so I've got this bread and butter Cabernet Sauvignon 2021. As it's getting towards the end, you can see it'll adjust its timing, but it'll count down on what it thinks is going to be the last second for your meal there. So we're hitting 120 because I think it's going to rise about one about 15 degrees after is what I've noticed at least with steaks at this temperature so once we're there it's gonna start beeping at me and voila there she is I'm gonna let it sit for a while you can see the temperature still going up on the screen there but man does it look good especially for a steak that was done indoors in a little appliance it's got those beautiful grill marks Still going up in temperature. We're gonna let it keep going up until it stops and then we should be ready to eat. Mm. 
And there we have it. Ready to eat. Let's cut in, see how it turned out. Um, let's go. We'll go, not for the cap yet, we'll go for the main steak portion. That's where we stuck the thermometer. It's interesting, it was about five minutes of time. It rose from just over 120 all the way up to 136, which is exactly where I wanted it. So with that grill, I've been finding a 15 degree temperature hit after I'm done cooking. But guys, guys, check this out. Now as it hits the air a little, it's actually gonna get a little pinker, but it's perfect looking. It's dripping all over me. Let's give it a shot. It's so good. It was cooked entirely in my kitchen. Like I hate that I can't have a grill outside because that's the best, right? But look at the char, the sear that I got. It's cooking inside the kitchen in that Ninja Foodie grill. Yum. I'm gonna be using that a lot. If you wanna see more videos on it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you wanna check it out, there's a link to it in my description. Link to everything I'm using, this little knife even. The links help me if you purchase stuff, but even if you don't, or even if you don't wanna use my links, check this stuff out, it's good stuff. This is a great knife, that's a great grill. That combustion thermometer, awesome. I'm so glad I got it. Live the poppy life, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. Um, let's actually try this wine, that bread and butter. Very bright. Given the name of it was called bread and butter, <laughs> I was thinking it might be a little more buttery. Um, very fruity, bright, peppery. That's a good, it's a good red. I'm, uh, I'm a fan. Let's dig into the cap here. That might be a little more cooked, but it doesn't matter because it's ribeye and it's the fattiest cut of steak and it's delicious. You got some leeway with ribeye. If you overcook it a bit, it'll still be delicious. If you undercook it, throw it back on the grill. <laughs> Do what you want. Um, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> It's perfectly cooked, and that NA11 rub gives it this nice, like savory, but also sweet flavor, and that gorgeous color. That all comes from the rub. Um, really good stuff out of the guys over in Washington. They're from Washington State. That makes it sound like we're talking some sort of cool military stuff out of Washington, D.C. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> guys making amazing rubs up in Washington State. A-plus stuff, guys. Check that out. It's gorgeous. It's delicious. That thermometer is a game changer. I never know when to take things off. Thicknesses differ with your steaks. Do you want to ruin a bunch before you really figure out when to dial in that, in that time? I don't. The thermometer helps. Works up to like 500 degrees. I think they say over 600 you got a problem, something like that. So that thing goes up to 500 in there. Um, it's safe. You jam that thing in, it keeps working. All those probes give you a better readout of where it's going to be. Really cool stuff. So there you have it. Ninja Foodi Grill, combustion thermometer, NA11 rub. Great combo. Good stuff. Links in the description. If anything, if anything, if I can impart one thing onto you on this channel, if you don't want any of that stuff, if you're just watching me, whatever, get a set of Vustoff steak knives. They're fantastic. They're so good. I only have one. I'd love a whole set. I don't have that kind of money, but I got one. Link in the description. Go get that. Go get that for yourself. Trust me. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.